I can't be hypocrites. The, the subject is African Americans. I, I would also argue white lives matter too. Everybody's life mm -hmm. matters here. Um, what, what the mayor contends, though, is that the same reaction is not given. What would you say to him? It was smooth the way you threw white lives matter in there. Our problem is when black lives are oppressed and don't receive justice, nobody cares. Nothing happens. Something happens to a white person, the world moves, right? So um, let's get back to Eric Adams. This, this, this mayor who spews, who is a Democrat, but he spews conservative and Republican talking points. At the end of the day, we have a name for someone like this. And this is someone we call a coon, right? Because of, he's a black man and he's a white man in blackface and a very conservative minded white man at that. So what we have is a man with hundreds of people on the city's payroll billions of dollars in budget and 40,000 police officers. He has 10, 10, 10 victims in one night. The night before, he had 16 shooting victims on a train. And they say, what are you going to do about policing? And he says, what about BLM? Is America not smart enough to see him deflecting? Like, well, that, this that is, might be the case. I didn't see the entirety of the interview, but there's yeah. a ton of topics discussed with him. He was with us last week, and what, what he told Dane and me is that we'll continue to take guns off the street, uh -huh. whether it's white, black, or what, yeah. whatever the category you want to put it in, and that dangerous people will not be a part of the revolving door system, the legal system in New York. Now, that you would say. now, here's the thing, man. You're smarter than this. Don't listen to what Eric Adams says. He gives great press statements. He's the, he's the master of the press conference. Some kid dies, he hugs their mother, he's holding up sneakers, he's crying. But what we elected him for, the city of New York, was to keep the city safe. This city is a war zone and he can't stop it. So with all his power, he turns to BLM and says, what are you going to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to organize people in our communities to go out and preach a message of love and unification in the streets. We're going to take control of our cities because the government has failed us for decades. Even when crime is low, we're still dying. And we have to fix this problem ourselves because we believe that Poverty is the mother of crime. And until we fix that, there'll never be a decrease in crime. So we're going to help our people while we build them up and empower them ourselves. All right. So here's some things he says he has done. Um, 